Welcome, I'm Marek Mularczyk and welcome to this another uh, episode of the series of the videos here and this time for a change I'm actually going to talk about Photoshop instead of After Effects or Premiere Pro. So I'm in Photoshop right now and I'm working on these uh, thumbnails that I'm putting together for my new Udemy course with some tips and tricks inside Adobe After Effects. Uh, but I want to talk about this new feature that came out in this May update to Photoshop CC, the save a copy. So I'm working on this design here and I've been putting together loads of different mockups and have loads of layers in here. And you know the usual savers where you can save your document into all these different formats and you can choose what you want to call it. So if I try to put it on my desktop, for example, and of course I could save it as a PSD file. You can also save to cloud documents. Okay. But here's an idea. If I just cancel it, I'm working on this design here and I want to make a copy of this document and I want to continue working on it as well. So we have this option called save a copy and this will create a copy of your work without disrupting your work, without removing anything. So you could continue working on it. So I could save it, say, onto my desktop as a YouTube thumbs copy, as an example. And on the savers type drop down, we can choose any format we like. Okay. So I could do, say, for example, a Photoshop format. Okay. And I'll save a copy. Uh, I don't want to use maximize compatibility. I'll just click OK. Now, if I go to Save As, a standard Save As, I'll go File, Save As. And I've seen quite a few people asking about it on Adobe forums within the last uh, few days, or within the last uh, week or so. When you Save As, people were asking, what's my JPEG? What's my... PNG. This is all gone here. Well, Photoshop got a bit more clever, even cleverer than before. When you save as now, Photoshop will only give you the options for the format which support what you're working on. So in this case, I'm only given a PSD format or PSB or a TIFF because I'm working on this multi-layered document and it's only going to keep all the layers in these three formats. So there's no JPEG here. Okay. There will be no JPEG in here as long as we have layers. So I can only save it as a PSD or TIFF or a PSB. If we want to produce a, a JPEG, we will need to do file save a copy. And here, now we can go for a JPEG. And I could put a JPEG on a desktop, YouTube thumbs copy and save. And then the usual, so I can change the quality settings. I'll stick to the nine of high and I'll click OK. Now here's another interesting feature here. If I go back to save as dialog box and I'm trying to save it and I want to put on a desktop. I want it to be a JPEG or a, or a PNG in this case, because it's like, it's a mockup. Okay. There's no PNG here, as mentioned before. However, we have Save a Copy button here as well. So I could hit Save a Copy, and this will give us Save a Copy dialog box, where we can choose any format we like, like a PNG format, for example. Okay. So if I just cancel it for a second, going back to Save As, we do now have a Save a Copy button in Save As, where well, we can say, so you can also save it to cloud documents, to your creative cloud documents, but Save a Copy will give you the Save a Copy dialog box where you can choose any of these formats. I could pick a PNG file and then save it. You get the usual dialog box for PNG files. Okay, so you can just click OK. Okay, so this is the brand new Save a Copy and save, Redesign Save Us in Photoshop CC. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This was a quick one. <laughs> I'm Marek Mulacic. Thank you for watching. And 
hope to see you soon on another video in a fortnight. Thank you for watching. That's it for now. Bye bye for now.